Okay, so in this exercise, they're asking us to estimate square roots. It's a really important topic and sometimes is referred to as truncating a root, right? That word truncating or estimating is really uh, something you can look up to see how it relates or, or you can look it up to find other examples of this of this topic. Now here, they're just asking you the you know the value of the square of 71 lies between which two consecutive integers, and we'll get to that in a second. But for each of these questions, I want you to extend. I think it's a good idea to extend these questions to say, not only um, what what are the two consecutive integers that this square root is between, but which one is it closer to? So we'll write that, that out as well. Which it, which integer is the square root of 71 closest to? And how do you know? So for each of these, you want to um, tell us, right, which integer the square root is closer to. So what's the idea right here? Well, the square root of 71, if we look at our, our perfect squares, right, we can just start counting up from 1 and square it. But we know that 71 is above what? Well, 8 squared is 64. So the square root of 64 is 8, right? Because 8 squared is 64, it's connected nicely. So the square root of 71 has got to be above 8, because 8 squared only gets you to 64. However, what happens when you go to the next integer? Well, 9 squared is 81, and 81 is above 71. So somewhere in between 8 and 9 is the square root of 71. A really, it's a really fun activity to try and find where exactly it is, because guess what? You won't find an exact location. In fact, there is no exact rational number, right, that's squared that will give you exactly the square root of 71. This is at the heart of the idea of irrational numbers. But we can tell it's between 8 and 9 for sure. And in fact, it's very easy to figure out which integer it's closest to. Here's the reasoning. When you look at 9 squared into 81, and you subtract 71 from that, you could say, well, the difference is 10. So that means that um, it's 10 away from what you're trying to get. However, when you look at the difference between 71 and 64, and I'm just changing the order I subtract to keep it positive, you could subtract 64 minus 71. That would give you a negative value, right? But, but there you take the absolute value to find distance. So I'm just reversing the order here to keep this a positive difference. So this is equal to 7. So the difference between 8 squared and the square root of 71 is less than, right, the, the difference between 71 and the, and, and the square root of 81. So it's somewhere between, right, the square root of 9, the square root of, square root of 81, and the square root of 64, but it's closer to the square root of 64. So it's closer to 8. So here, it's between 8 and 9 but it's closer to 8. That's just because 8 squared is closer to 71 than 9 squared is. And that's, that's a pretty good approach to take. Alright, thanks.